Hi there. As promised, the 2012 Tacoma. This happens to be a double cab with the off-road package. Some subtle differences from the recent past. Toyota calls it a refresh. We're a couple of years away from a total makeover of the Tacoma. But you'll notice the front grille here is just a bit more aggressive. The wider stance. Other than that, it's relatively the same. This has the 4.0 V6 engine in it, which it has had for a number of years. Along the side, you can see that it's still pretty much styled the same. Being the off-road package, it's got the more aggressive tires. And in the bed, uh, you don't need to see it, but it's got the uh, composite bed. So you don't have to worry about a bed liner sitting on metal. In back, the backup camera is now standard. That's a nice feature to back them up. Or if you're trying to hook up something to tow it, you can see exactly where you're going. I always laugh at this kind of marriage saver because it always seems like husband and wife are doing it one or the other is arguing with the other. You don't have to worry about that now. You've got a backup camera. It's going to be part of the package. As we come around to this other side, in the back seat, it's largely similar to what we've had in recent years. You've got the best seat. This bottom piece pulls up. There's storage on either side. Right here, this is the empty side. The other side has storage, and it also has the jack. And then this top piece will just slide down, and you have a hard surface on the back. Up front, in the main cabin, some subtle differences from what we've had in the past. And I'm going to go over those here in just a moment. But the general layout is somewhat similar. So, let's go inside. As promised, the interior of this truck. It is similar, but yet it has a few more differences than you saw on the outside. Let's start up at the top here. You have two sunglass holders. So now husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, or whoever's right in the front, can both put their sunglasses in here. You still have the map lights. You still have the extender on the visors. And there's a lighted makeup mirror. Coming down here is one of the differences. You'll notice now both the outdoor temperature and the compass fit into the rear view mirror. This is also where the backup camera will show up. It'll take up about here over to here. You also have the auto dimming rear view mirror and you have the home link system for your garage door opener. Coming down a little bit, satellite radio, three months free XM is now standard in the Tacoma. And what I like about it, and you can't quite see here, is that you can have a satellite station next to an AM station next to an FM station without having to flip between the two bands. Down a little bit lower here, you have an auxiliary port and the USB port has been added to the Tacoma. One other thing this particular vehicle doesn't have that is, is new is the capability of having Entune, which will have navigation and also some really neat functions when you pair your smartphone with your vehicle. And finally, the other thing I'll show you is the steering wheel is a little bit different. It also has, here's your uh, auto Bluetooth uh, cell phone so you can answer hands-free while you're driving. You can also uh, uh, stream your uh, audio too. If you have a smartphone or an iPod, you can stream your music right onto your phone. That's a look at the 2011 or 2012 Tacoma. If you're interested, give me a call at 573-268-6462. That's 573-268-6462. Or you can email me at bpollock, P-O-L-L-O-C-K, at mockins.com. Thanks for the tour.